At Ferrazzi Greenlight, we coach teams to have the who's got your back kind of commitment that absolutely won't let each other fail. What that really means is it's not just the commitment to each other's business success, but it's also a commitment to each other's development. I recently asked a group of executives, how many of you believe that as individuals, you could each be 30% better than you currently are as leaders of the transformation that you're undergoing? Everybody quickly with great humility and reasonableness raised their hands. And I said, but do you expect that the person sitting next to you is the individual that is gonna coach you to be 30% better? In the same regard, do you own the commitment for the rest of this group to be 30% better? This is where we often fall short. And this is a new contract that we believe executive teams need to have, a commitment truly to each other's success. Now, a lot of times in organizations, you'll see individuals who may have some recognition that one of the executives is in need of development. How is that often handled? It's handled by a, an executive going to the CEO and making a point that one of their peers needs some support or one of their peers needs some, uh, some corrective action. Or even worse, two peers could be talking behind the back of an individual and talk about how that individual is not holding up their own. High professional behavior, high performance behavior is when two individuals could sit down and, and say, this is where we think Jane needs to go. How can we help her get there? This is, and, and ideally even more directly, to pull Jane aside and Jane, I, I'm so committed to your success and you're so crucial to our success. I would very much like to sit down and chat with you a little bit about how I think you can get um, you know, X, Y, Z higher or more elevated or more capable in what you're currently working on. Do I have that permission? We need to begin to shift the commitment of development away from a hub and spoke into the peer group, even out in the sales organization and down in the bowels of organizations. We need to make sure that peers are responsibility for the coaching of their peers. Managerial or executive level coaching alone is not going to get us there. We're on such broad ranging virtual teams that we need to unleash in service of each other, constant feedback, constant coaching, not just in service of the mission, but in service of the development of peer to peer professionals. We can all get 30% better, but we all own the responsibility of helping our peers get 30% better.